only law in this galaxy is the one a man makes for himself. The Sith may say otherwise, but even the Empire's reach has limits. That's why they hire bounty hunters. If you've earned a death mark, we'll be seeing each other real soon. Don't let it go to your head, though. To me, it's just another job. Back guys, let's play Star Wars The Old Republic Part 2 of Chapter 2 actually, holy crap uh, We actually f finished Chapter 1 last episode, start Chapter 2 in the other one Here we go, testing grounds So yeah, this is act actually right after we've just finished uh, talking to Mandalore, so yeah But we first are going to talk with Mako and Galt Alright, here we go guys That new armor? I like it. it. Makes your arms look, uh, bigger. Not that they needed it. Got more than just armor I could show you. Really? Because I've been curious about the targeting system for your rocket launcher. Anyway, we've got things to do, people to hunt. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Mako. God damn it. Alright, gold, let's speak. <laughs> Make your rocket launch it. <laughs> oh. Have I mentioned how much pulling that little con has improved my mood? I think that auction put to bed any lingering doubts that Tiresias is dead and gone. And aside from knowing my new identity ought to stick, I'd almost forgotten how much I love a good scheme. Fun and profit. What's not to like? Getting shot at for one, but working with you has made that pretty commonplace. It's hard to work a proper hustle when you're on the run, chum. I've pulled more heists than cons in recent memory. That was the kind of racket my former partner preferred. Simple, bold, effective. We used to argue about that a lot. How'd you two part ways? We had different ideas about where we were headed. Well, water under the bridge. My preference is to be long gone by the time anyone gets wise. That's a lot easier without bounty hunters breathing down my neck. It's about time I got back in the game. Can't afford to let myself get out of practice, after all. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we go. Beast in the darkness. To be fair, I actually already know where it is. Um, it's actually not that far from the world boss of Drummond Cause. Yeah, you guys heard me. World boss. Basically, the big giant uh, ancient dinosaur thingy. I'm not sure how that you should call it. I believe it's called the Ancient One. Uh, that one here it is, actually. So, yeah. No fast travel to the wall, hop on our speeder, and we actually will then be going. Alright. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not going to actually make this a 30 minute vid, basically I'm only I'm going to be do finishing off Heart of Darkness and, and until we actually get to the part where we actually have to travel to Terrace. So yeah. Alright. 
Ah, I really actually forgot how much I hate this goddamn mission. I used to not because you can actually just skip all the mobs, they actually didn't plan to attack you, but right now you actually have to use this. I believe that's actually what it's called, the world boss, uh, the species, but a bigger version of it, a really, really, really bigger version. Not sure if it's actually still up. Well, let's actually have a quick look. Why the hell not? Right, guys? There it is, the first. Apparently someone actually tried to kill it. <laughs> yeah, nice try, bro. You used to be able to solo it, but right now... This is a camp for warriors, not hikers. You aren't welcome here. Warriors, huh? Guess that makes you the armor polisher. Bite your tongue, or lose it. I'm done being nice. He's more warrior than you, Jogo. Huh, you're one to judge, eh, Arutal? Huntmaster declared him Grand Champion. That true? You don't want me to prove it. Trust me. Yeah? What if I do? Winning the Great Hunt doesn't make you one of us. Finish up whatever brought you here and go. Never mind. It's an honor. Nice to meet you too, kid. You got a name? Torian Kadera. Not a kid. I'm sorry about that. No insult taken. Taking the head of one of our beasts? I hunt in a different league, kid. I get it. The Sire of the Brood. No one's seen it, but it's there. You can feel its heartbeat in the walls. Better warriors than you have tried. They never returned. Then let me show you how it's done. There's a bottom, it's probably there. Good hunting. I better put back on my helmet. Don't want to have any monster beastie get it. Because I need to... Uh Keep it. Right. Not sure where I'll imagine going with that one there. Right. And the journals. What the fuck is this guy going on about? Right. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, I've actually decided to actually make uh, kind of like uh, um, every chapter give us a uh, different kind of armor. So yeah. 36 next level yeah actually I you know what we're going to be doing that in this episode too switching out uh, the skills and that's the bones toxic Depends actually, yeah, we actually do need to go to uh, the guy on the wrong cause. Right. Oh, god damn it. You actually do I get that. Great. So basically, those uh, Montoropi Tropa thingies actually are basically the same as the poison toxic. Uh, Traits, whatever the hell they are. The 
What's that? What's that? Whoa. I actually want to use jet boost, but fine. Right. Fire that first off. There we go. Alright, now where's this big one? Where's the mother of all of them? Come on. Are those actually uh, the same? Because uh, to be fair, it's not really all that tough. Really? For fuck's sake! Really? If if those mandos actually basically died because of that creature, what the hell? That beastie was weak as. Uh, I mean, they're not the same. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just get myself. Ah, uh, Nimrod the Hot, blah blah blah, blah. nope. Beastary? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that wasn't basically the exact same. I should smell something, but I'm not sure what the hell. It smells like pizza or something. God damn it. Alright, here we are. Because now I'm actually starting to get hungry. <laughs> He's back! How'd it go? I did more than find it. Ugly. How did you kill it when so many of my clan have failed? There must be something to what you've said. You killed it, they died. I salute your victory. Hail to the victor! Alright. Time to go first off to Drummond Cars before I actually forget about it. And it's. Yeah, let's just go to the cantina. Actually, I should have actually put on the XP boost. Got that. But fine. Fine, fine, fine. So basically what we will be losing so far is the incendiary missile and the thermal detonator. That's all we are currently will be losing. We'll change it up for Tracer Missile and Heat Seeker. And Priming Shot. Alright, now if I remember right, there he is, Assistant Kunoa. Except, because I'm a subscriber, this is actually all free. And it's actually... Uh, I had this. Yeah, that will actually be really great. Uh, this and... Uh. Hmm. 
I just get that. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I actually am going to keep uh, four open up for when we reach level 42 for priming shots. And this will actually change uh, and load. Alright. Go to uh, my stronghold on the on drum and cars. I actually want to say DK. Because that's actually how I <laughs> me and the Anchorage Lord actually call drum and cars uh, for short. But yeah, actually I'm planning on making a little uh, funny bug I actually found with Ensign Temple after uh, we act actually finish off recording the Trooper. Uh, trooper, the uh, Smuggler, holy crap. But yeah, because Ensign Temple actually has a real funny bug in which he you actually is kind of disturbing really what she does. Because I'm pretty sure that's not normal that she's at. she actually uses someone else's voice uh, whenever she's healing with this certain line that she actually tells you. And also actually doesn't fit her character to be honest. I'm also actually main, perhaps not, I'm not actually sure if I am planning on doing uh, that bit. Depends on if they actually fi will fix it in the next patch they will actually upload today, so yeah. Well, or maybe... The guest of honor's isn't. finally arrived. Not much to look at. The subject size mass ratio would beg to differ. Shut up. <laughs> Dead Mandalore, I've brought your proof. Then it's time I introduced you to the other grand champions of the Great Hunt. Meet your only peers in the galaxy. We've gathered here to induct you into our exclusive group, the only hunters in the galaxy with access to job. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. I actually just noticed something. Let's just take that bad boy off. The creatures. Then it's time. I enter. We've gathered here to induct you into our exclusive group, the only hunters in the galaxy with access to jobs on the legendary blacklist. So killing the creature was an initiation. Yes, but not to the blacklist. The blacklist's as old as the great hunt itself. Got its own traditions. I need your help keeping one alive. There's always been a Mandalorian in the group. Duty calls me away. So I want you to take my place. Keep a Mandalorian among the Grand Champions. I'm no Mandalorian. Killing that beast was your ritual blooding. So you're already Mandalorian in spirit, if not in name. Now, do me the honor of joining my brothers and sisters in the Great Clan. Been waiting my whole life for this. I'm honored. Your life's just begun. Make it one no one will forget. Champions, it's time we drink. Let's see how much black ale my replacement can put away. I hate to leave such fine company, but it's time I got back to winning the Sith's wars for them. Champions, Till we meet again. I haven't seen the old man that happy in a long time. How's it feel to be a Mandalorian? Like I'm part of something, not just another hired gun. Ah, oh, how sweet. Name's Bloodworthy. These two miscreants are Jula Nightbringer and the Defenestrator. We just wanted you to know we sent a little welcoming present to your ship. A blacklist bounty. One of the two oldest on record, to be exact. Something to ease you into life at the top. I'll be sure to check them out. 
We should get going. Our new friend here has plenty of work ahead of him. Don't be a stranger. Alright. As I said, I'm going to keep recording until we actually get back to um, the mission to go to Terrace. I'm not going to travel to Terrace, just want to get it. Here we are, use our ship it's intercom and then we can uh, call it an episode. Took you too long enough, you go for a job or a honeymoon? Nice to see you too. Well, somebody better cough up the gory details, the suspense is killing me. Mandalore offered me a place in his clan. Smart move, you just made us a lot of friends. There's no doubt about that. Come on, we've got work to do. Here's that blacklist posting they were talking about, locked up tight. Do the honors. This is it. The real deal. I can't believe it. Welcome to the big leagues, Mako. That is such an understatement you don't even know. In all the time I spent researching the Great Hunt, I only heard rumors about the blacklist. According to the rumors, the only people who know how to place a bounty on the blacklist are the most major players in the galaxy. This bounty's pretty sparse on details. Just an encrypted hollow frequency in the location to call it from. Terrace. Ready to see what these jokers have in store for us? Warm up the engines. We're heading out. Systems are looking good. Look out, Galaxy. Here comes the grand champion of the Great Hunt. And that all that will be in the next episode. And also in the next episode, guys, we will be having ourselves a new outfit. So say goodbye to the old one. Because we are Mandalorian now. Bye guys.